Hey everyone, Lance Goyke here. Uh, today we're talking about elbow pain during the push-up. So generally push-ups, common problems are shoulders. I just made a video about that. It went up yesterday. Um, even if you don't have shoulder pain and you do have elbow pain when you're doing your push-up, you should watch that video because I go into a lot of things that are directly applicable to the elbow pain kind of clientele. So what's going on with the push-up? Uh, generally, the joint is getting either overloaded or twisted in a way that it's just too much. It's not ready for it. Um, you can do, if your hands are really close, that puts a lot of pressure on your elbows. You might get something there on the back side of them. Um, and if your hands are kind of further away, that's also gonna put a little more pressure on the elbows. And if you don't have a really stable shoulder, while you're doing that, you're gonna put maybe too much pressure and then pain can come around. Uh, you'll notice that pain is usually worse if you're not sleeping very well or if you're really stressed at work or at home or whatever it may be. Um, so take care of those things. Now, I wanna talk about the movement a little bit more. Let's say maybe you have pain on only one side. So you have to look uh, further up, I, I would encourage you to not get too focused on what the elbow is doing. There's a good way to explain things generally, but the elbow usually isn't what's causing things. It's usually something closer up toward your middle. So what are those things? Uh, closer, next joint, shoulder, next closest joint, the shoulder blade on the rib cage. Next closest joint, the rib cage joints especially. Um, and then next closest joint, the spine itself. So you're gonna wanna look into what is my spinal position and what is my rib cage position while you're doing these push-ups if you're feeling this shoulder pain. Generally, you know, if somebody is feel, or feeling this elbow pain, sorry, Generally, if someone's feeling this elbow pain during a push-up, there's something you can obviously see is going on, okay? Um, generally, you're gonna, I made a video about this, but you'll, you'll have like a twisting kind of thing when you're doing your push-up, just saying, hey, one of these joints likes to be a little bit different than the other one. You might notice uh, the left elbow likes to flare out a little bit more, the right one likes to come in a little bit more. Sometimes it actually looks like this. This is, an, is not even an exaggeration. <coughs> Uh, if you try to correct that and even things out and your midsection is not pliable enough to adopt that new position, that could actually be causing some issues. You could be torquing the elbow joint more than you're allowing the rib cage to kind of just flow and sink down and everything. So um, actionable steps. If I am looking at you, one shoulder's way higher than the other one, that's something to consider. Generally, if the shoulder is lower, there's less air in that side. So the shoulder looks lower because there's nothing supporting it. What you gotta try to do is bring the other side down and that side up. So only way to bring that side down is one, you have to have the intention, but two, you have to, Get the air out of the way because pressurized air can lift cars, right? You're not going to be able to just crunch through it. You have to get it out. One way that I like to do this is, well, the seated way, what we just did. Uh, I just say, uh, let your tailbone sink down toward the ground. Yeah, nice little round back there. And then let your left shoulder sink down toward your left hip just like this. So I have a lot of air in my left lung here, not in my right lung. That's actually a very common presentation. So this is how I go through this. <sighs> Exhale, try to squeeze all the air out. Do you feel an ab? Uh, kinda, I feel it kinda here, but not really here. This is this side ab, this is what I'm looking for. So let's try to go again. <sighs> Okay, I got a little bit more. There we go. I'm gonna bring my arm in. I'm just gonna kinda try to hang on to that ab while I breathe in. 
Notice I took a really easy inhale. I'm not pulling all the air in because I've noticed that when people force the air in, they lose their position. They can't hang on to that ab that they just found. And so you can go through it that way. That's, that's a nice little uh, neurological reset that you can use throughout the day if you're just sitting at a desk or whatever. Um, if you're actually in the gym and you have a physio ball, an exercise ball, you can pretend your pillow is an exercise ball and then lay over it like this, okay? So normally you're a little bit further up off the ground, but this is a good way to go about this. And um, same principles, I'm exhaling all the way. I'm actually gonna try to crunch into the ball and here I feel a lot more of this ab because it's loaded. <sighs> try to hang on to it again and I'm just going to be really patient I know this right side is really tight for me it's really stubborn so I got to make sure I tighten the left side so that it can relax <sighs> and if you really get it on your inhale you actually feel the contraction intensify so that's another one that I really like to do. Um, third, final variation for this video, you can do some sort of modified side plank. I probably shouldn't have put my mic in the pocket that I'm laying on. Uh, knees up like this, and then you're just gonna try to make a rainbow with your ab. So I'm gonna move my feet a little bit so that I can feel my ab turn on. There we go. Now I got it. And so I'm gonna hang on to this and bring my butt up off the ground. And now I feel it a lot, okay? If I feel it enough, I can keep this hand down. If I want an extra challenge, I can pick it up off the ground. And if I want an extra challenge, I can try to rotate around and then I really feel it. Oh my goodness. Um, so that side plank, if you've never done one from your knees, that works really well. Um, you can also come up on your feet. Generally, this one feels even easier if I just leave you to your own devices because you're not finding the ab, you're not creating that little uh, tunnel, that rainbow. <sighs> so that's the idea. Um, you got to make sure that your rib cage moves evenly if you're having elbow pain during your push up because otherwise you're sending different twisting, different torquing down out through the arm and into the elbow. Okay, I hope that makes sense. This is a broad and complicated video um, topic. Pain generally is. Uh, biggest recommendation that I can make is go find a physical therapist that can coach you through all these things. Um, and, you know, if it's persistent, it's not going away, you might need to talk to a doctor because you could have some other stuff going on. Okay, that's it for today. If it helps, let me know. If it doesn't help, let me know. Maybe I got some more ideas for you.